All right, so welcome to uh, Lisa Ground School. The, this is going to be my first video. Um, and uh, I'm going to be talking about how to do a weight and balance for a glider. I, I think for an airplane it's a little bit more complicated, but uh, the process is fairly simple for um, a, a simple type of glider. And um, this is the type you would have to know how to do for the FAA check ride. Um, so there are two basic questions we want to ask when doing a weight and balance calculation. Um, first of all, what is the maximum weight that we can uh, have for takeoff? And is the center of gravity within the safe ranges? All right, what is a center of gravity? Well, basically, it's uh, simply the balance point of an object. Um, for a glider, it would just be the point at which you could, um, if if you could uh, pick a glider up with, you know, one finger or one stick, it would balance at that point. S uh, simply that. So we're going to obtain these numbers uh, from the uh, latest inspection. All right, so let's say we have a glider that has a maximum uh, allowable weight, maximum takeoff weight of... 1,024 pounds. And let's say the center of gravity range uh, is between 78.2 and 86.1 inches. Um, now, by the way, the uh, the range is, uh, those numbers are given in uh, arms. So if we have a glider, uh, pretty bad drawing of a glider, but but let's say this is this is the front of the glider up here. This is the back uh, towards there. Um, what this essentially measures is distance from a reference point on the glider, uh, going that way, and that's basically what the arm is, which is what we're going to use for all center of gravity measurements. So let's start with the first question, um, which is, um, is our uh, maximum weight greater than the allowable limit? All right, so let's uh, list all the things on board. Uh, the first thing we need is the actual glider itself, right? That's very important. Don't forget that. Um, and we can look up the empty weight of the glider in the manual. Um, let's say it is 612 pounds. I'm using an actual example here, so that's why we're not getting nice even numbers. Um, all right, let's say uh, I'm going to be going with a friend, so I'll put a passenger in there too. Um, I weigh 110. Let's say my passenger weighs 130. And we're going to put ballast in here because I'm extremely light. Okay, so we can sum these up and get a total of 871 pounds. So we can immediately answer the first question. Uh, we see 871 is not greater than 1,024, so we're good. Now we need to find the center of gravity based on these weights. And in order to do that, we're going to have to know the location of these items uh, with respect to a reference point on the glider as specified in the manual. So, in other words, the arm, as I defined it before. Um, we can basically just look these up. The empty weight uh, center of gravity of the glider is at 96.12 inches. Um, the uh, front seat is located at 43.8. And again, I'm, we're just getting these straight from the manual, these numbers. Rear seat and the location of the ballast. Okay. Um, now we need... Um, so... In order to find the center of gravity, we have to take into account both of these things. 
And so we have to calculate something called the moment. And that's a product of the weight and the arm. So essentially we're multiplying, uh, for instance, 612 by 96.12. Uh, we're going to get a moment of 58825. You can do the calculations on your own. Um, that that's what that comes out to. Do that for all four of these, right? I'll just put them here. And at the very end, remember um, the what we're looking for is essentially the arm uh, location of the center of gravity. And since we know weight times arm equals moment, um, the center of gravity, whoops, let me fix that, that's what I meant to do. The center of gravity is going to be the sum of all the masses divided by the sum of all the weights. So we already have the sum of all the weights. Uh, that's 871. And now we just have to sum all of these moments. Um, you can check the math on your own, but it comes out to 73,634. Alright, you do that division, and you will get 84. Point five four inches. And if we look at the manual, a center of gravity within 78.2 and 86.1 is safe. So we have 84 and a half. So we're good.